American supercarriers are the face of the U.S. Navy and have enabled powered projection far off from the U.S. homeland. The U.S. has 10 Nimitz-class supercarriers and is in the process of deploying Ford-class supercarriers. Each of these has a displacement of 100,000 tons and an overall length of 332.8 meters or 1,092 feet. To give viewers a perspective, it's about three football fields long. These supercarriers are nuclear powered and hence have unlimited range. The U.S. is the only nation to operate so many supercarriers since they're very costly to build and operate. America's main rivals, Russia and China, don't have the budget or technical know how to match these supercarriers. So instead, they focused on developing asymmetric capabilities to counter these supercarriers, which include developing sophisticated anti ship weapons. One of these is the Chinese DF 21D. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why SM 6 is the American answer to Chinese DF 21D carrier killer missile. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Dong Feng 21 is a two-stage solid fuel rocket, single warhead medium range ballistic missile MRBM. In the Dong Feng series, developed by China Changfeng Mechanics and Electronics Technology Academy. The missile is designed to be fired from land-based mobile launchers. The U.S. Department of Defense in 2008 estimated that China had 60 to 80 missiles and 60 launchers, and approximately 10 to 11 missiles can be built annually. Originally developed as a strategic weapon, the DF-21's later variants were designed for both nuclear and conventional missions. It's thought to be able to carry high explosive and submunition warheads, as well as a nuclear warhead of 300 kilotons. The DF 21D is said to be the world's first anti ship ballistic missile, ASBM. It's thought to employ a maneuverable re entry vehicle, MARV, with a terminal guidance system. This gives it the ability to hit a moving aircraft carrier strike group from long range. According to the U.S. National Air and Space Intelligence Center, the missile has a maximum range of about 1,450 kilometers or 900 miles. The U.S. Department of Defense stated in 2010 that China reached initial operating capacity IOC, of the missile. United States Naval Institute in 2009 stated that the warhead of DF-21D would be large enough to destroy an aircraft carrier in one hit and that there was currently no defense against it if it worked as theorized. Nimitz as well as Ford class carriers have powerful sensors for 360 degree coverage of the space around them as well as have a host of defensive weapons to neutralize different types of threats. This includes 16 to 24 RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missiles and three to four phalanx close in weapon system. RIM 7 Sea Sparrow is a short range anti aircraft and anti missile weapon system, primarily intended for defense against anti ship missiles. It has a range of 10 miles and a speed of Mach 3.5. Phalanx close in weapon system is deployed for last ditch defense against anti ship missiles and is capable of firing up to 50 rounds per second. But these weapons are suitable for defending against cruise missiles, but not against DF 21D, which follows a ballistic trajectory. American carriers do not operate alone, but are deployed as part of a carrier strike group. 
the Carrier Strike Group consists of multiple Ticonderoga-class cruisers and Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser and Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer are equipped with a diverse array of weapons for anti-aircraft warfare (AAW), anti-submarine warfare (ASW), anti-surface warfare (ASUW). As well as have the ability to intercept ballistic missiles through Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is designed by the United States Department of Defense, Missile Defense Agency, to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re entry. It enables these warships to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY-1 radar and standard missiles. Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and, if needed, engage potential threats using SM-2, SM-3 or SM-6 missiles. The heart of the Aegis system on board these warships is the ANSPY 1D radar. It's an advanced, automatic, detect and track, multifunctional phased array radar. This high powered 4 megawatt radar is able to perform search, track, and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. The RIM 174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM6, have been deployed by the U.S. Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare ERAAW, purposes, providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight both over sea and land and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block 4 RIM 156A missile and some targeting elements from AIM-120C AMRAAM. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker, with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target and the active seeker having the missile itself send out an electromagnetic signal. SM-6 has max speed of Mach 3.5 and has a 140-pound blast fragmentation warhead. The initial operating capability of the missile was planned for 2013 and was achieved on November 27, 2013. On the 30th of September 2016, Raytheon announced the SM-6 had achieved the longest surface-to-air intercept in naval history, breaking its previous long-range intercept record made in January 2016. The missile's capability enables it to shoot down a ballistic missile like DF-21D in its terminal phase. Nimitz and Ford class carriers are some of the biggest warships to roam the oceans, but that doesn't mean they're slow and lumbering. Powered by their nuclear reactors, they can move at 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour. Though these carriers are so big, in an open area, a carrier is not easy to detect or track. In 30 minutes after a sighting by an opponent, the area within which a carrier might be operating will expand to 900 square miles and this will increase to about 4,000 square miles after 60 minutes. Also, these supercarriers can pull off last-minute high-speed evasive maneuvers to avoid being hit by the re-entry vehicle of DF-21D. It's to be noted that unlike a cruise missile, the re-entry vehicle will have limited ability of course correction during the final plunge on the target. But the most important aspect is that the Ticonderoga class and Arleigh Burke class warships that are part of the carrier strike group will be firing multiple SM-6 missiles. It's to be noted that SM-6 is designed to be launched from the Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS. Ticonderoga class has 122 and Arleigh Burke class has 92 Mark 41 cells. So a significant number of SM-6 will be at the disposal of a carrier strike group. So it can be said that with SM-6, 
the U.S. Navy has an effective counter against Chinese DF-21D carrier killer missile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.